How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otto and this is another episode of Patapon 2, and this, this episode, as you could see, I made some more Tatapons. Yes, I was doing quite a lot of stuff in between episodes. I don't have the footage for it because I was like, I don't fucking care. I'm not gonna record everything. So most of the time when I was replaying boss fights, I think I did a replay... Oh, see? I made my fucking Patapon into a pig. He deals more damage, and most importantly, matches the color of his equipment. No, I didn't make him pink just to match the color of his equipment, but... I was like, well, you might as well have this equipment. I think the other guy had it before, so it's like... Not my intention. Also, I, just, I should have made the hero pad upon a tad upon. It would have been more useful, in my opinion. You can also see what... Uh... What are these, like, icons at the bottom of the spreadsheet when I was equipping that fucking helmet? I don't know. I mean, I know what they mean, but like, do they mean immunity, or do I deal this, or something like that? I don't think I got any fucking element right now on me. And no, friendship is not an element. I have a fucking friendship spear, but... <laughs> it's not a fucking element. BGM. Sounds like a f <laughs> Like a rapper. BGM. fuck I was gonna tell you? I was gonna tell you about Lupin. You know, October comes out uh, part 6, so that's pretty neat. And you know what, now I think about it, this fucking month was the, the whole 25th anniversary, 25th actually, anniversary, it was on the 9th of September, 25th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot. Oh, when, when I'm, you know, recording this commentary, it's still September, you're watching this in October, right? Well, it was Crash Bandicoot's 25th anniversary, and they haven't announced yet anything. And it's the end of October, and they still haven't said anything about the new upcoming Crash game, which everyone's saying is called Wumpa League. But you know what? I, I don't don't feel excited about that one, because any rumors I hear, it just kind of sounds as if that game's going to be some kind of competitive party, party game. That just isn't... Like, I don't know if I will even buy it on release, just because it's a Crash game. If it was a Crash platformer, then sure. Look, we got a fucking Arrow. Aerosmith. We got an Archer on our, on our fucking team. Archers are just like the Spear guys, except they shoot more often and further, but they deal less damage. I think this guy has fire effect on him. Is this...? Yeah, I think it's him shooting the fire arrows, right? Or is there a fire spear I have? No, I think that's the guy who wears the helmet on my spear team. No, it's the ar archer guy who shoots fire arrows. Fire is a very... Uh, uh, an awful element to use in this game, in my opinion. Like, it's, it sounds fucking awesome and powerful on paper, but it's such a double-bladed edge. Like, you just as easily can fuck yourself up using it as you can fuck enemy up. See those bushes at the bottom of the screen? If they light up on fire because of your arrow, you can still light yourself on fire, it doesn't matter. And then you can accidentally light your entire fucking party on fire. And so far, there's a song in this game, Panapon Don Chaka, which nullifies all the effects on you. But I don't have it yet, so if I set myself on fire right now, I'd be pretty fucked. Maybe I wouldn't die and lose the mission, but I would definitely be at a disadvantage. I really do feel like I'm about to have a heart attack, holy shit. Talking about Lupon, another cool thing re uh, related to that. I just realized their fucking shields look like stop signs. <laughs> nice. It's not a stop sign, that's a... What's, what's that sign? It's not a stop sign, it's a sign for like, no entry. I think. 
or no parking on the side of the street. I don't fucking remember what the fuck signs are about. I don't drive my car very often, to be honest. I don't need to fucking go far. Sit in my fucking room all day, most of the fucking time. Uh, part 1 gets an English dub, so maybe I'll rewatch part 1. It was fun. Better than part 3. But speaking of Lupon, I also continued watching part 4. And this episode was kind of strange. So it turns out Rebecca... I know you don't probably know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I like talking about shit I watch because nobody else that I know would give a flying fuck about what the fuck I'm doing, so... It's like a therapy for me, you know? This is the only place where... This is this fucking YouTube channel is the only place where I legitimately talk about shit I care about, so... That's why I kind of hate that this... Nobody fucking cares. Nobody watches. Makes me fucking sad. If my tone of voice pisses you off, then... Yeah, that's on me. I don't really... I'm not in the best of moods recently. Don't feel excited about anything at all anymore. Uh, the fuck I was talking about. Oh yeah, in this episode she has a book she's trying to decipher. And it's like a big mystery with like, what the fuck is this book about? What is she talking about? What is she doing? I can only afford one. No, no way, I can afford two. Awesome. Two archers, that, that's enough. It's a longer episode. 16 fucking minutes, are you kidding me? Can't afford any of these cool ones. A rabbit one, a pig one. Honestly, I don't think the pig ones are worth it. I think they're, they're whatever the fuck they have advantage is just kind of shitty. Yeah, and I think the rabbits are ones are better. Also, rabbit ones, I think, maybe they don't have immunity to fire. Maybe they have increased attack speed. That for sure, but I'm not sure about the fire immunity that I was just talking about. Last episode, I think. So that wasn't just... I got a lot of helmets this mission. Nice. My whole party looks like the, the guys from the cover of the game now. That's nice. Well, almost my whole party. I got a sword. I don't think by the end of this game I had any of the items that are like the ultimate ones. Actually, maybe I did, I think... I'm not sure if the, I'm confusing footage from the first game right now with the footage from this game. But I did have some like legendary items by... Maybe that was in the first game. Maybe this one, I don't fucking remember. This, this series is gonna be long, so who the fuck knows. Maybe I did gotten some legendary items by the end. But I don't remember this getting this game being any easier towards the end, so if I had legendary items I, I think it would be easier, but I don't remember that. What did I have just fucking entered? Is that the fucking cannon challenge? It is. Yeah, and she got kidnapped by the MI6. You know, the British Secret Service. Who Nyx is part of. Nyx is the character who's pretty much James Daniel Craig, James Bond. His name's Justin something, but they call him Nix. I don't care to remember his real name, Justin. It's a normal name. He had some name that's like weird and memorable, but Justin whatever. Nix. Now that's a name I can remember. They kidnapped Rebecca, and Lupin needed to, you know, free her, because it's his wife. Which turns out this episode is not his wife, but she never, like, turn in the papers to actually officially become married, but he didn't know that because she was using him, but he didn't mind because she's hot and oh look, I have a fire weapon now on my own maybe not the best idea, but whatever could have just equipped him with the better bow instead of the fire one See how big the shields get right now when I'm using defense? Now these guys take like no damage. It's just a bummer that the guys in the back still take damage, but if there were people on the bottom, instead of cannons shooting fucking cannonballs at us right now, then they would be taking no damage, which would be pretty neat. And what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, and he... They put her in a cage. Or whatever the fuck, and Lupin fucking impersonates their 
their leader and tells every single MI6 member that they have to rescue Rebecca and bring her to some building for him, the ambassador of England, I guess. Some ambassador, I don't know, they never specified which one. Maybe it's not the English one. They have to bring her there and everybody got the message, so every single agent of the MI6 turned on, the, on each other, trying to save her, but Nyx is the best of the best. Because I think he's like inhuman, which this episode implied. I thought before when he kind of went berserk that this is just how he is. But this episode, like his eyes at the end, because when they get Rebecca and Nyx realizes he's been fooled, he goes and they fucking and he's going to kill them but then Rebecca's butler show up and he shows him a picture of his house where his family lives and a mysterious case next to the door and he said if he's gonna shoot Rebecca then he's gonna blow up his house and Nick really cares about his family because he's such a family man always fucking during doing work support them and shit like that which was explored in a previous episode and the fuck was it I was gonna say? Oh yeah, he goes berserk. Like his eyes lit up red and he starts dodging bullets and beating the shit out of everyone and I was like, this guy's not human. Lopin calls him a rat, which later he defeats him. Actually, yeah, he says like a fight with Nyx and he keeps running away and he realizes that Nyx has the abilities of a rat. Because rats are fast animals, right? And he explains that rats see the world in slow motion because everything they're so fast that everything else is slow to them. And that's why Nyx, when he goes berserk, he starts acting like a rat and he sees everything in slow mo. That's how that's why he can dodge bullets and beat everyone up, because he sees what they're about to do. And that's why he's so good at shooting guns too. And he's keep like calculating when he's aiming, as if he just has like some kind of fucking crosshair displayed on his eyes or some shit like that. Yeah, and Lupin defeats him by making a loud sound, which fucks with him. He makes like a loud sound for like a split second, but for him that was a longer time because he sees it, he experience every, experiences everything in slow motion, I guess. Which I guess by the time he would turn it off, then it would have stopped. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense, but whatever. If that's how he defeats him. I think I'm... No, that was the actually that was the ending of the episode afterwards. Because this is a two-parter episode. Yeah, so after they rescue Rebe Rebecca, then Nyx goes after them. But in the meantime, before they get into that fight they just explained, uh, Lupin's deciphering a book and he like enters the book in his mind, which is fucking weird that he can do that all of a sudden. That like makes no sense, no explanation for it, how the fuck he pulled that off. And he like talks to the author of the book, which I think was implied that it was Rebecca's like first boyfriend and her only true love. Back when Rebecca wasn't that annoying bitch and a pop star. And he wrote this book where he I think tried to like decipher some kind of mystery. And he was killed. And People made it look like suicide and she believed it was suicide for a long time and Lupin tried to decipher that book because she really cared about it. And he did it only for her. But the fact that he entered the world of the book and like was running around in a level that reminded me kind of the library level in Psychonauts 2 which we did recently. Yeah, since it's October I'm also gonna mention how I don't really plan on uploading anything, any additional series like Psychonauts 2 and September. I don't think I'm gonna upload. I mean, I am going to upload. I don't plan on fucking stopping this channel, but... I don't think I'm gonna do any additional shit anytime soon. I, we can finally see what this totem's about. You need to... play this... song, song that's displayed on the totem, even though it's not a song that you can play in the game. It doesn't do anything. And you have to play it like to the rhythm of the totem, not to the rhythm of the drum. And you get money and an item. And then you can resume playing the normal song. Also, I think in this game items disappear way too fucking fast. 
There were so many instances where I was about to grab something really cool, and then I lost it. So there's more shit, so if we do pull off the level 3 variant of this challenge, we will get even more cool stuff. Totems like these usually hide pretty cool items. So, I think so, at least that, that's how I remember these guys. These totems. I still have this stupid drink from episode 1. So I recorded 5 episodes in a row. My throat kinda hurts, like the weather's so shitty, I think I'm getting sick and... Doing commentary just makes my fucking throat hurts. And Lupin then exited the world of the book, and that's when I think Nyx caught up to him and they had that fight I just described. And they got fucking shot and captured by MI6. So I guess we're gonna... If I'm gonna continue watching, we're gonna find out what the fuck happened. And Zenigata's kinda hot on their tail. Actually, Zenigata got a hold of Lupin. MI6 gave it to him. But they still have Nyx. So I'm imagining what they're gonna try to do is save Nyx, because Nyx is a good guy, after all. Even though he's kind of a dickhead. But whatever, see you fellas in the next episode, bye.